Greetings, entities and guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and I want to ask you something really quickly. What do you what do you call these? So I I know that they're animal crackers, right? But what makes them crackers like saltines or graham? I mean, I thought the reason why they usually called them crackers was because they usually just crack easily. Now, I'm not saying that animal crackers aren't impossible to break, but crackers are just thin sheets of carbs, while animal crackers are just a bit more thick and well-shaped as well. I mean, why don't we just straight up call them animal cookies? Because here's the thing, they're just cookies. That's literally all that they are. They are just cookies. They taste like sugar cookies. They look like animal cookies. They smell like regular prepackaged cookies that you get at the store because they are just cookies. I mean, if I wanted to eat a cookie, then I could go for something like chocolate chip, but I want the taste, the imaginary feeling of biting a head off of a giraffe. These little things let me have my primal instincts intact and they still taste amazing. And you know, you know that one time when I was on a flight, and that was like a while ago, but like still, I'm just gonna bring it up like it was right now. There was one time I was on a flight. They didn't have any food except for animal crackers. And let me tell you, I snacked on that and I cherished it. I cherished every single cookie that were that there was. And let me tell you something. Why exactly am I ranting about animal crackers about being animal cookies? If, 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 if I'm if I'm gonna be honest, I, I really don't have a clue. It's, it's just a way for me to transition to actually what we're talking about today. Weird intro aside, it's that time of the month every single month once again that we go ahead and talk about the upcoming Kicker Run Oven Break update, considering that the official Kicker Run YouTube channel recently released a teaser for the upcoming update to Kicker Run Oven Break. Sheesh, try saying that three times fast. Well, I actually do have some good news for you. Much like the previous update with Cream Soda Cookie, this update also has a familiar cookie that I really don't need to spitball random ideas for, you know, to guess who it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and talk about them once we get to the video portion. However, let me just say my average stuff first whenever I make these videos. Firstly, if you're new here, let me go ahead and explain what we do here. First of all, what we do is that we describe the video in detail. Second of all, we analyze any interesting detail that's either hidden or obvious within the video. And third of all, we then theorize what we could possibly be seeing within the new Kicker Run Oven Break updates. Secondly, let me just state that considering that we're on the internet, these videos are just my personal opinions and theories. There's a high likelihood that the stuff that I say in this video won't actually appear within the new Kicker Run Oven Break update. I just primarily make these videos for not only fun, but to hype myself and hopefully potentially other people for the new Oven Break updates. And let me just tell you that some of the stuff that's expected to see in this update actually might be pretty obvious, but I'll get to that later, because for now, we need to go ahead and visit a familiar place that we've seen in Kicker Run before. The video starts off in a colorful, luscious forest with flowers, leaves, and even swing sets for some reason. It's not until we go to the next scene where we see the insides of a forest where this red bird cookie flies inside, eventually landing near a small nest of jellies or something, I don't know. A blast of fire transitions the screen to show us some text that just says, Guardians, assemble. After a feather transition, we see the island of the dessert paradise where as it's raining gentle flowers down, the whole area darkens as if something's being corrupted by a dark force. The video would then end with the text, Cookie Run Oven Break. Special Season, Peril in Paradise, Brand Reveal on August 27th, 0500 PST and 2200 KST. So there's a few questions you might be asking after seeing this video. Who is this cookie? What's happening with a dessert paradise? And also, what are the guardians? Well, all that and more should hopefully be answered, because first of all, this cookie is someone who we already know. This is a cookie known as Red Panna Cotta Cookie. He was first introduced as an NPC in the Trip to Paradise update with Blue Slushy Cookie and Sugar Swan Cookie. He's one of the guardians of the Dessert Paradise, along with Blue Slushy Cookie, sworn to protect the place alongside with Sugar Swan Cookie, basically either protecting her or she's protecting the land as well. Either or. The two guardians we know of are Red Panna Cotta Cookie and Blue Slushy Cookie, but I wouldn't be surprised if there were more guardians in the Dessert Paradise due to the whole area seemingly getting corrupted. Now, why exactly is that? Well, I do have a hunch that it might have to do with a scheme involving either Dark Enchantress Cookie or Pomegranate Cookie. Hear me out here, this has to do with another story that happened before. I say this because while Dark Enchantress Cookie hasn't had much of an on-screen appearance as a villain in a while, Pomegranate Cookie, at least the last time we've seen her, has been committing some... De devious crimes or devious licks. When Pomegranate Cookie and Ginger Braves group had met with Millennial Tree Cookie, the two of them were given seeds to use at the right time. However, Pomegranate Cookie had decided to plant her seed with a curse attached to it with the intention of spreading the darkness. Because of this, this could potentially explain the darkness being revealed upon the Dessert Paradise. However, how would the story exactly play out if we were to go down this route? So the Dessert Paradise is just having another chill day with Red Panna Cotta Cookie and Blue Slushy Cookie overlooking the land as guardians, with Sugar Swan Cookie returning from her long journey of getting milk or whatever she did during the Trip to Paradise update. However, it seems that the activity within the liveliness with the nature and animals or whatever seems to be becoming more odd. They start to feel more afraid or more vicious. 
What the plum is going on? Well, the infection that pomegranate cookie started spreading ended up spreading to the point where it was affecting the surrounding areas of the dessert paradise. Now, not only is it spreading further and more harsher, but it's not stopping anytime soon. So what needs to happen now is that Sugar Swan Cookie needs to stay at the dessert paradise as she should still be powerful enough for herself to hold off the corruption, while Blue Slushy, Red Panicata, and most likely a new cookie or multiple new cookies who will most likely tag along with us will have to help locate the source of the infection. However, they'll have to hurry to stop this. If it's not stopped, then this could most likely corrupt more of the world and potentially even more cookies as well. I mean, it's kind of like when Wind Archer happened to be corrupted by similar corruption a while back when the Cookie Moles and Churro Cookie released. We're going to have to hope that the Dessert Paradise Guardians are fast enough and strong enough to prevent this corruption from spreading anywhere else. Otherwise, well, the worst is yet to come. So how will the new cookies even work? Well, let's start it off easy with Red Panna Cotta Cookie. I think a bit of the video actually gives us a bit of a hint as to what he does. When the screen transitions after we see Red Panna Cotta Cookie, it's filled with fire. So, is it bold to assume that he would occasionally start flying and blazing between trees or something, gaining points for not hitting any obstacle, and then with the magic candy, Red Panna Cotta Cookie would then have one last sort of a fireball blast, blasting through anything with great speed? I don't know, but it seems like that could be the case. Now, for Red Panna Cotta Cookie's pet, honestly, I think it would just be a simple small red robin. I mean, it's simple, but why not? It's still just a little friend who would occasionally fly around the cookie's head, having a few feathers fall for points on top of their head that they can collect. Now for the other cookie, it's a bit more difficult, but I would actually want it to be another guardian cookie. Since we have red panna cotta cookie and blue slushy cookie, we should add a new color to the mix like green. So it could be like green tea cookie or green pistachio cookie or green mint cookie. This new green guardian cookie skill would be more nature based, having to do with something like flying across the screen, letting flowers and plants bloom which causes them to provide points, and with the magic candy most likely causing a giant flower at the end to blossom for even more points. For a pet, it really does depend on what type of guardian cookie this is, however, since we do have monster cookie already representing green tea, and pistachio representing like a green pistachio cookie, I'm gonna assume that it's a small mint leaf instead, which occasionally would slow the cookie's energy drain due to the mint's freshness. Lastly, for the treasure, I would honestly think it would be some oversized plant seed, much like the one Millennial Tree gave to Pomegranate or Ginger Brave, and the purpose of this is to plant itself into the ground every so often, however after a bit of time it blossoms into a large plant or tree which would cause a variety of jellies to spill across onto you, either being a bunch of basic or bare jellies, or even jellies that provide abilities like giant potions, blast jellies, or even energy boosts. Now it's time to take a gander at some nature based costumes. However, we actually don't have to guess. We actually have some clues as to help find out who's getting treated well. Because on Kikyo and Oven Break's Twitter, they've been posting little teasers of the update and what's to come, which includes a teaser for the cookies getting costumes. Now, as far as I can guess, I can predict that the cookies who will be getting costumes are Pilot Cookie, Red Panna Cotta Cookie, Churro Cookie, Fairy Cookie, Sugar Swan Cookie, and lastly, either Whipped Cream Cookie or Lily Bell Cookie. Now, I'm not joking, it could be either one of the two, but I was having trouble choosing because of the height of that one plumping cookie. How However, there is a chance that one of the cookies that I said is also going to be the other new cookie that got released, considering it always seems like the new cookies always get costumes, so Red Panna Cotta Cookie always gets one, but the other cookie could be the one that looks like Fairy Cookie, or the one that looks like a mix between Plipping Lily Bell or Whipped Cream. I don't know, they seem like one of the two new cookies, but we're just going to have to wait and see once they finally get revealed to us. So this would usually be the part where I talk about the new game modes and events introduced into the update, but half of that is actually basically already solved for us. Let me explain in a moment. First of all, there's obviously going to be a new game mode which is based around the new story, or you know how the whole thing goes. You go through five stages, you meet three cookies, and you make it all the way to the end of the story, figure out more of the cutscenes and whatever, and then you unlock hard mode, you do story missions, and then you just run and run and run so you can gather up all the points that you can get for your little itty bitty playing gem missions. Also per usual, there's going to be a new versions of the cookie mastery, meet the treasure, and treasure mastery events, but it's just going to be for the new cookies and treasure for the update. Now remember when I mentioned that Kiki Run teased on their Twitter about the new costumes? Well, the same thing goes with some of the new features that they're adding to the update. For example, since this is apparently a special season, we're having the special season boxes return. That means we're potentially going to be getting hefty amounts of loot during this update. Also, there's going to be a new breakout episode released too, and it's most likely going to be a big one considering that we're dealing with playing the dessert paradise after all. Also, it seems like Teamfight is making a comeback considering I'm pretty sure the tough cookie match event is soon ending. So Teamfight is going to be its replacement, and I 
think it's going to have a nature theme to it considering the cookies we see on screen. New daily gifts are going to be given out, there's going to be a new jelly set available for purchase, $10 pet costume, and also there's going to be a new coupon code for rainbow cubes available at the end of the update reveal video. Now at the end of all these videos, I need to make sure that I state this just so everyone understands. Be sure to complete any current event or gain any loot within the current events before the new update arrives, because when it comes, they're gone for good. But what do you all think about the upcoming update? Are you excited that the Dessert Paradise is coming back and is having some more new lore be expanded upon it? Are you excited for Red Panda Cotta Cookie? Or do you think any of the things that I say are going to be true? Be sure to leave it down in the comment section below and be sure to comment what you might basically want to see within the new update if it does end up coming. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video now because uh, I basically rambled on long enough. So with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it and also share the video with your friends. You can join my Cookie Run content and if you enjoy my content in general, then why not subscribe and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. Also down below in the description, you'll see links to all of my social media, which includes a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, you can see uh, basically a, a plubby Twitter post where I just want to get that Kick Your Run YouTube stuff for absolutely free, please. Anyways, there's also a link to my Discord server called the Hype Me Sub, a link to my merchandise where you can buy stuff to represent the channel, and lastly, a link to my Kofi where for just $1 a month, you can see exclusive content that you wouldn't normally see in this normal YouTube channel. But above all else, I will see you, entities and guardians, in the next video. Hail the Hype Me!